This is you setting a mode to change the value of a variable for light and dark mode. This is you setting multiple modes because your desktop light colors are different from your mobile light colors. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today, we're going mad with modes. You'll learn how to create variables that inherit other variables so you'll have more control over your contexts. I still don't have the new Figma UI, so apologies if UI locations have changed. I'll do an overview of the changes as soon as I get it. Figma, what's going on? Tag them in the comments below and tell them they should give it to me. Okay, make sure nothing is selected in your file and move over to the local variables section and open the dialog. Click the create variable button and select color. We're going to set some variables up for a button. Name the first variable button-bg and give it a hex value of your choosing. Next, create another variable named button-border and give it another hex value and one more named button-text and set it to a color you like. Now let's create a new mode. Click the plus icon to the right of the column headers. Name this new mode dark, and then double click on the first mode and change its name to light. Move up to the collection name, click the overflow menu, and select rename. Name this collection theme. Change all the dark mode colors to whatever is needed. Next, let's turn these variables into a group. Select the first row, hold shift, and select the last row. Now right click and select new group with selection. Name this group mobile. Right click on the new mobile group and select duplicate group. Name this new group desktop. Update the colors for desktop needs. Close the variables dialog and head over to the button or whatever UI you are working on and assign your new variables. Wait, which one do we select? Mobile or desktop? With the way we have our variables right now, we'll have to have two buttons one for mobile and one for desktop. This will be our mobile button. To set light mode or dark mode, move over to the layer section of the design panel. In the upper right, there's a little stacked cog icon. Click that and select theme and then dark. The colors of the button have changed to dark mode. I've skipped ahead to show a desktop button in dark mode too. It would be much nicer to be able to set both of these modes in a single button. Let's set that up. Open the variables dialog again and click on the overflow menu next to the collection name. Select create collection and name it device. Create a new color token and name it button-bg. Before we give it a value, let's get our mode set up. Rename the first mode to mobile and then create a new mode named desktop. In our mobile button bg variable, let's select the color box and then switch into the libraries tab. Select our theme mobile color button bg variable. Do the same thing for the desktop one. So now these are referencing variables from our theme collection. I'll skip ahead real quick and now I have the other two variables set up to reference their equivalent theme tokens. Close the variables dialog because it's time to see this in action. Let's make a copy of one of these buttons and paste it down below. Change our variable assignments to the ones from our new device collection. The fill becomes device button BG, stroke becomes device button border, and the fill color of the text becomes device button text. Now we can set our modes. Select the button. Over in the layer section, click that cog icon again. Now there are two options. Set the device to desktop and the theme to light. Now with this single button, we can make any mock we need. Did you catch how this works? It confused me at first too. Let's do a quick overview. The top level variables contain every variable you will need with as many modes as you need. We use light and dark to capture the themes. The groups you set up in these top level variables should match the names of the modes you'll set up in the second collection. In this case, it was mobile and desktop. This isn't a requirement, but does make the mapping easier. In your second collection, you want to set up the same amount of modes that you had of groups in the first set. For each variable you create, name them the same as the other group. Instead of a hex value, you'll be assigning a variable to the definition. The variable should come from the group that matches the mode you are currently assigning. That's how you create variables to handle multiple contexts. I hope this Figma Byte helps you manage modes mindfully. Thanks for watching.